So you want to tell me, Red Rum is one of the most famous lines for any movie with kids. Uh, how did you enjoy the process of bringing Danny to adulthood? I thought I was, found it really interesting. It was fascinating. It was, uh, it was, it was um, very fulfilling for me in a way. I, I didn't didn't expect it to be. I think it's a testament to Stephen King's writing, really. The fact that he's writing, there's a broad, there's a much broader picture to what he's writing about. I think um, Mike Flanagan always always talked about The Shining being a novel which was very much about addiction and about um, uh, alcoholism, and Doctor Sleep being a novel that Stephen King wrote about recovery and about sobriety. And um, I, just, I, I don't think I fully appreciated how true that might be until you know actually sitting here today talking about it that it's that it really is interesting that Danny ends up becoming you know going down the same journey that his father did like he was he has his arm broken by his drunken father when he's a child a small child before the shining story right and then ends up being an alcoholic himself and drinks himself almost to death because he can't face what's happening, he can't face what's happening to him on the inside. It's just interesting. Like, it's an interesting story. And then, he's, and then he, he finds a path into sobriety by, by a chance meeting with somebody, or maybe not a chance meeting. But then, and then this young girl reaches out to him and forces him to, to really face his fears, to really stand up against and go, okay, this is what I am, and this is what I'm afraid of, and I'm going to face it in order to help somebody else. And that's what brings him back to life, really. So, so tell, tell me, how did you get involved in being in this movie? Because it's not the kind of movie that we normally see you in. And being a thriller, a horror thriller, what attracted you to work with Mike and, and Stephen King's movie? Well, I was very impressed when I met Mike. I don't know, I had a meeting with him, which was like many other meetings where you go to meet a director he was meeting other actors for this role, and I, and I, I went to meet him. He was editing his TV show at the time, and um, I just had a meeting with him. It was very personal. Like we just we talked a bit about this film and we a bit about the characters, but we, I ended up talking an awful lot about my life and 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 he his. And we it was, I came away. I was riding home on my motorcycle, going, that was an unusual meet. That was unusual. Uh, you know, we got it got very personal very quickly. And I thought, well, that's that's somebody you want to. If you've got that connection like that, that's someone you want. That's someone you want to work with. You want to explore. There's something to explore here. Like we're talking about big things, you know. Um, and it was, and, and so I just thought, no, this is. It's, it's not even like I thought about it being a horror film or a genre that I haven't ever done. It was just like, no, I, this guy. There's something to talk about in this by playing this role, you know. So it was good. So you, you're such a great singer, uh, and I know you like to sing. You, you, ha, tell me about that scene where you sing with, the, with that patient. Oh yeah, I hadn't thought about it, yes. No, it was nice. It was very touching. It was, very t it was in the script. I, I, don't, I don't know, I can't remember if it's in the novel or if uh, Mike brought that to life, but it was a very nice moment. Yeah, it's a nice moment. And you enjoyed it. I forgot doing. about that, yeah. I loved, I have to say, I loved, um, because a lot of the time of the film I'm on my own and then I have a lot of interactions with actors for a day, you know, or two days. And then, of course, there's uh, Kylie, who I do most of my scene work with her, and then Rebecca just for a couple of days at the end. But I worked with all these lovely actors along the way. And um, when I'm playing the sort of Dr. Sleep role, if you like, when I'm in the hospice, I had two or three older men who I got to do scene, a scene with. And it was, it was their dying scene. So these guys came in to, to do a death scene, you know. And uh, they were all actors in their 60s or 70s. And there was something very moving about it. And for, me, for them and for me, it was just, just these little scenes that always took you by surprise. And that song at the end is very beautiful. It's a very beautiful moment. No? Right, thank it's you nice 